Hi there. It's Kathy. Um, today I'm in my garden and I have uh, a couple of vegetables that I have been growing since I want to say June and I have this is my first time gardening I have to tell you that and I've had a bit of a challenge with uh, the bugs eating my greens these are my mustard greens here and I haven't watered them so I am going to water them today and I'm also going to treat them so I'm not going to talk a whole lot, but if you are interested in just watching me do what I do in the garden, um, this has been an ongoing process since June uh, for me, and I discover things along the way for, and this, like I said, this is my first year, so um, just, you know, grow with me, learn with me. If you have some suggestions, uh, go all the way down to the bottom and uh, give me any suggestions that you might have uh, so far I have actually been able to spray some dr. earth which I'm going to spray another application on and also to give it that extra what I also have done is actually if you can see it right here in the background that's actually my netting um, and that actually helps protect it as well. So uh, before I put the netting on there, um, I did take notice that uh, there were some leftover uh, Asian beetles and they were eating up the greens. But before I had the Asian beetles, there was the moths. And the moths, you know, uh, turn, uh, lay eggs and produce caterpillars and then once they you know turn into the caterpillars then they begin to eat the leaves and you know so it's like so uh, I can probably show you uh, I don't know well here's one in particular I don't let me see I'm gonna pull it matter of fact I'm gonna cut this one out so you can see it um, and this is what I've been dealing with all summer long but you know hey um, I'm learning as I go so this is been eaten up by the Asian beetles I want to say I don't think I have any more moths in there so um, the dr. earth um, I put in there hold on give me a minute I'm gonna show you so this right here has been like a lifesaver I, I don't know if this is like backwards for you guys but this is dr. earth and this is an all-natural um, solution uh, got neem oils and a lot of other oils in there that would actually solve the problem but of course I have to continue because all summer long I'm always gonna begin to deal with uh, multiple different types of insects uh, in the garden and you know once again this is my first year this is my first crop this is my first time so I'm learning as I go learning as I grow and um, so when I get finished cleaning the beds out with the dead leaves and then I'm gonna pick um, this is hold on let me put this down this is going to be my second time pulling up uh, some of the leaves to uh, to pick out and eat so I'm gonna clean them up, you know, like this one. This one is a really nice size one right here. So I'm gonna, you know, pick some out like that and put them in my, I have a, um, a basket that I'm gonna put them in. And then once I get done, then I'm gonna put, take those in the house and clean them up and cook them. And uh, before, but before I do all of that, I'm gonna, like I said, clean this bed up with all the dead, you know, dead leaves and everything. And then any, you know, really bad eaten up uh, leaves, I'm just going to, you know, let those go. So, uh, I won't be able to, you know, have, uh, read any comments or anything like that. But if you're interested to just stay tuned and just watch, you know, what I do, uh, feel free to watch. I may not talk. I may talk a little bit, but not very, not very much. So, just, you know just watch I guess if that's what you want you know so let me get started and finish up here and this is 
And then also what I'm going to do is um, I'm also going to put uh, some loops. So actually, I'll show it to you later on, but I'm going to put uh, three loops in this bedding. I already put the three loops in the first bedding and cleaned that, that bed up and haven't treated it, but I'm going to treat that one as well. So the... Um, the loops I'm putting in, I'm going to secure those on the wood, on the wood post, and then um, also put the netting on top of it once I'm done with treating it and cleaning the bed up. So keep watching. So this is live, and for those of you tuning in for the first time, welcome to uh, Kathy. I have uh, multiple um, videos out that I talk about. I talk about, sometimes I talk about the health of the hair, um, health of the body. I minister the word of God and, and I also cook on my channel. So um, you just never know with me, you know, uh, what I'm feeling up to doing as far as videotaping. And, you know, depends on how God leads me, will determine, you know, um, what, what I'm going to uh, put on my video. So, but right now, I'm just going to clean out my garden and just, you know, just watch if that's what you desire. So, you might learn something. For those of you that are a little nervous about gardening, you know, and I definitely was definitely nervous about gardening. I really was, but my husband gave me the thumbs up and he said, go ahead. He said, you know, he said, start out small, which I did. Uh, I almost think I started out too big because I have a number of things going on and I'll show you that uh, once I'm done with this garden. I don't even know how long this is going to take, but hey, you know. Um, hang in there with me if you got to go cook, clean, whatever you got to do for today. Help yourself and, you know, tune back in. You know, I'll still be out here and I'm going to, you know, videotape as long as I can. Um, but I did share with you all what I'm doing. So let me continue here uh, focusing on all these dead leaves. And I really don't like touching touching bugs and stuff, so I got gloves on. So this is like, I don't know what happened to me. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to always play with bugs. And here I am, I'm actually 55 and I'm in a garden. I have a garden now. And now it's like touching a bug, it's like, it's questionable to me. And it makes me kind of nervous because I don't know what these bugs are and I don't know what they do. You know, and I un unless I go and you know Google them and know what kind of bug it is and is it beneficial? Is it good? You know, should I not touch it? You know, kind of thing. So that's where I'm at with these bugs right now. So in the meantime, I'm wearing gloves and picking through all this rubbish that's you know left over because my husband he was he was really trying to help me out. Uh, and I got busy uh, over there at the salon and what he did was he put the Dr. Earth down for me like I would say like last week and um, and when he did that I think he over watered and then when I came out here it's kind of smelt um, like wet leaves and then you know so when I took it look in the garden to see what was going on i noticed that you know a lot of the leaves had you know they were brown and a, a lot of them were leaning over to the side they were looking terrible uh i have to stand up for a few minutes because kneeling down there on my uh it, it's a little challenging on my on my knees and on my legs so i have to give my legs a break with all this this is this is a lot of hard work it this just reminds me of uh this is one of those biblical things that i'm uh, i'm gonna share with you where in genesis where how adam and eve got kicked out of the garden and he said all your days would be hard you know life would be hard for you and you know and then the garden uh when i when i started doing it 
I thought about that scripture and I go, oh my God, I said, this is what it feels like um, for God to say, you know, that when you're being disobedient to, to him, to the most high. And it's so saddening to hear, you know, that, you know, this is what they chose to do. So instead of, you know, being obedient to what he said for them to do and not to do, they did it anyway. And, you know, they got tricked. But, you know, hey, you know, life goes on. You got to deal with deal with uh, whatever punches get thrown at you, you know, and deal with it the best way you can. And and what you can do is, you know, when you're being disobedient towards towards the most high, you can go to him in prayer because we are under mercy and grace when Jesus, his son, came down here on this earth and he gave us life and we can choose life or death. And he says, choose me, choose me. So I decide to choose him. And even though life is not perfect, hey, you know what? If I do something wrong, I say something out the, out the way or do something that I wasn't supposed to do, I can go to him and apologize and say, God, I'm sorry, you know, for what I've done. Forgive me. And he'll forgive me. Just as, just as simple as that. But I have to know that, that I don't just keep going back and waddling in whatever it was that I was, you know, in my sins doing. So, uh, life, I don't want life to be hard for me. I don't want life to be a struggle for me. So if his word says, uh, follow my commandments and be obedient to my commandments, you know, that's what I want to do. So, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I've been trying to tell people about the 10 commandments and, and, you know, it's a lot of people, you know, uh, have been saying to me that, you know, we're no longer under the law, under the Moses law, but we are under the law of Jesus Christ, you know, and, and everything. But then yet in Matthews, where Jesus actually said to, I want to, I don't, don't quote me on it, but I want I know it's in Matthew where it tells you that Jesus told, I believe it's the Pharisees that he said, if you think I came to do away with the law, he said, I didn't. He said, I came to fulfill it. So that means that the law is not done away with, but he wants you to be a doer of the word be a doer of the Ten Commandments. Now today is Saturday and mind you, I probably shouldn't even be out here working in this garden, but um, this is something that, you know, if I didn't go ahead and do this, then these leaves would die off and then I wouldn't have a crop and I wouldn't be able to eat 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 you know what I what I have been growing so not saying that I'm trying to throw an excuse out there but you know where the fourth commandment says he give you rest and he wants you to rest on the Sabbath day which is today today is Saturday I normally rest and I, for the most part I want to say I have rested and I have rested in him and I have studied his word today this morning and this afternoon but you know now it's like a little after probably going on five o'clock or so and you know and now i'm out here in the garden so um trying to get this established so that i can continue to grow you know the vegetables that he has so blessed me with i have you know like i said i have came out here already probably like a, two weeks ago and i picked some of the bigger leaves out and I cleaned the garden out even then and then uh, clean them up and cook them. So, and they were, you, you, you know, I'm going to tell you, uh, fresh stuff that you cooked yourself, I'm telling you, that, that's, some, that's some tasty stuff. It tastes way more better, way more fresher than 
than what they have in the stores because it has exchanged hands so many times at the store and we don't know where um these you know these vegetables and the fruits and stuff that they have in the stores we don't know where they came from and a lot a lot of things is what i've been noticing at the stores is that there's a lot of things that are hybrid um meaning it's man-made and I don't like man-made stuff because you get a lot of pesticides on your vegetables and your fruits and different things like that. And I don't like that. So I like to do things all natural as much as possible to the best of my ability. So that's why, you know, I decided this is one of my reasons why I decided to go ahead and, you know, uh, start the garden. So next year when I get a garden hopefully I'm gonna uh, have a bigger garden but uh, you know I think I gotta feel I'm gonna need some help with this because this is a lot a lot of work you know and it, and by me being a hairstylist by trade and then this is like me being in a garden this is actually very peaceful for me and I enjoy it so and I enjoy also doing hair too that's that's another piece for me so as long as you know God is with me with whatever I do I'm grateful I'm satisfied I don't have to have you know a whole lot of different you know things but I know it takes money to do things and have things and have the necessities you know so I do the best I can do with whatever God blesses me with and that that I need I always talk to him and ask him you know to bless me with you know I one day want to have a land an actual land where I can you know uh, grow some crop but not only just grow the crop but also just uh, feed you know other people if I can you know but but in the meantime I'm gonna be grateful for what the little thing that he has already given me he's already blessed me so I'm grateful that I have food to eat I'm grateful that I have a roof over my head I'm grateful for a lot of things that he has blessed me with so I'm continuing to clean out this garden and I'm gonna you know, in a few minutes, I'm almost pretty much done because this wasn't a whole lot to uh, clean up. Not as bad as that other one. That other one had a lot, had a lot to clean up, but this one is not as bad as that other one was. And I'm going to continue to keep cleaning this out till I get as much as I can clean out. So once again if you got some tips for me for those of you that are gardeners uh, feel free to comment below and if you like you know what I'm sharing subscribe subscribe to my channel because I love this is stuff that I love to do I really do love to do it and I, I want to take the time out to do a lot more okay over here I got um, I don't even know if you can see this or not but uh, in this corner um, I got some spinach as well so I got mustard greens and I also got the spinach so and then in the other bed I got some tomatoes and um, oh, what else is that bell peppers some uh, sweet peppers and cabbage in the other bed. I got a lot of stuff going on in that other bed. It's um, probably why it took me so long to clean it out. But this, I guess I'm over halfway done with cleaning this bed out. I thought, you know, when I first uh, picked the 
picked the uh, leaves out two weeks ago and uh, cleaned them up and cooked them. I thought I wasn't gonna get any more greens, but this whole section was ate up so bad, I just cleaned that whole bed up and it was like really bald. But now look at them. It, it, it has flourished out to even more more um, mustard greens and that's, that's awesome. It's just amazing how um, nature does takes its course and does awesome things and when especially when God is in the midst of all so if you all ever decide to garden those of you that have been contemplating on it you know I'm this is why I'm in this is why I'm going live to you know just to show you and give you an idea of what you got to look forward to uh, when you get ready to get start started, I'm telling you it's a challenge. It is a challenge and and like I said, this is my first year I'm probably gonna find something whole totally different next year You know in the garden I don't know what but There's always probably gonna be some new experiences every year that I garden Lot of dead leaves. A lot of dead leaves. Also, I gotta tell you guys this too. Um, I almost want to say I really had an overgrowth of of leaves growing, and I don't think I had enough room to, you know, for all of them because I'm a. Now I'm listening to my husband, and my husband, what he said was. Now, according to the package, now the package said, put three seeds per hole. Hold on, my, my granddaughter, I got my two granddaughters here, and one of them is calling me. I'm in the, I'm in the garden. Oh, am I going to take out my ponytail? Pardon me? Am I going to take out my ponytail? You can take your ponytail out if you want. Okay. All right. But he did, he, okay, whole, it, it, the, the package said, do three, three per hole, right? So I started doing three per hole, and then he comes out and he said, oh, take a whole handful and put in the hole. And then uh, he said, uh, if some of them might not grow, some of them might not, you know, produce, you know, sprout sprout the seeds and I was like oh okay so I feel like it was like a overkill you know that then that's my opinion but you know like I said you who are gardeners you know who have been know this this up and put the comment below and give me some suggestions whether it's you know and it's probably why I'm over here you know picking all these dead leaves out of here he showed he tried to help help his wife and god bless him he was you know him and his dad used to garden you know together but um his dad has gone away his dad is no longer living and um you know he just you know bless his soul he he, he remembered you know his, him and his dad gardening he wanted to get out here and garden with me but you know you know due to you know uh I guess back injuries or whatever uh, from some time ago um, he he doesn't have you know the like I am in the garden and, and do what I do so he kind of leaves it up oh goodness so it looks like I'm pretty much done but every time I say I'm pretty much done I always seem to find another <laughs> another it leaves out of because it's so much Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, we're going to continue to clean the garden out. Uh, as I was saying about my granddaughters, they're here for 
um, they're here for the summer. Well, not quite the summer, but for the, um, um, I told them today is the seventh day and does rest. So we rested as much as we could. And now I'm out in the garden, you know, doing what I'm doing now. Uh, also, um, um, also, uh, what I was going to say, I told them, I said, this is the day that you do what you want to do and what you do, that's your business. And it's go for yourself day. We actually, uh, far as, you know, the, you know, I cook, you know, somewhat, you know, all through the week and then we had leftovers and because we had the leftovers, um, we got food for today that we can just warm up and other than that there are some pizzas they can cook and all the other stuff so uh they listen to the bible stories and they also um ask a lot of questions which i'm glad about and you know i believe this is well pleasing to the lord because you train up a child in the way that he should go and when he's older she older uh they will not depart from God's word. We're supposed to not forget to tell the story. Tell the story of the, the exile of the Israelites from out of Egypt. We're supposed to tell the story of how God brought us out of many things. And this is what's going on today. So, you know, even though this video is about cleaning my garden out and everything, it's also sharing you know, the good news of God about you know so let me continue on um, cleaning out the bed I am almost done so it's a blessing to just have YouTube you know where I can uh, videotape you know what I do and you know if God give me some give me word for the people I'll come on and give a word however you know however it needs to needs to be given so uh, and once again for those of you that are pushing replay and you're turning tuning in to my channel for the first time I am Kathy and I am a hairstylist by trade I cook, I first time gardener, and I love ministering the word of God. So this is what I do, and then I give health nuggets as uh, far as the body, as far as the hair, and different things to that nature. So um, thank you for watching, and if you like, I'd appreciate it if you if you're enjoying what you're listening to and what you're watching, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, also, if you have any comments, put them below. If you have any suggestions, as far as my gardening, um, go all the way down to the bottom, scroll all the way to the bottom, and put your comments. And I appreciate it. So it looks like I'm pretty much uh, done. I got one just really easy. One, oh, there it is. Pretty much done with this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling or picking um, the bigger leaves. So tomorrow I'm actually gonna um, cook some of the greens and if I don't get to the cooking them cooking them tomorrow then I'll cook them uh, Monday because sometimes I'm at the shop on Sunday uh, doing hair and sometimes it can be I can get like busy so if I'm too busy then I'll I'll just you know give my family a really nice meal um, on Monday um, so, I'm trying to see if I want this one, you know, this one here has, you know, has some holes in it. Now, there is, even though some of the leaves have the holes in it, there is nothing wrong with eating these. Uh, you just clean your, 
clean your greens, you know, really, really good. So, you know, you got got a couple of holes in there. So, but and I think that's okay. It's okay to, to eat. It's not. It's not like it's gonna kill somebody. So, I'm gonna cut the bigger leaves out now. Whatever I can find. I see some baby ones uh, coming up again, so and that's good and great because I'm gonna uh, let those stay. And like I said, this is my second time actually um, picking greens out of the garden and cleaning them and cooking them. So I these are some very very tasty greens. And then you know once again, so like I said, this is my first time. So. You know, for those of you that are gardeners, also, I have a question. So, you know, is this too small to actually be cutting? Should I let it grow a little bit longer and bigger? Because there are some that are a little bit bigger, like this one, for example. This one is a little bit bigger. So, you know, should I let them grow even lo longer, bigger, what? So, leave those comments below. Help, help, help me out. Um, but other than that, I'm going to continue to do it. But, so, you know, like I said, I already came out here and cut off the big leaves before what I considered the bigger leaves and cleaned them and cooked them. And they were very nice and tender and very delicious just because they came out of my garden. And I know what I put on them. I know I didn't put any pesticide on there. No, I didn't put anything that there was a chemical on my green so i'm glad i did this it's a great experience and it's very peaceful and i appreciate you know that the most high actually allowed me to be able to do this even though i'm busy you know throughout my day doing you know this that and the other um i'm grateful for this So these are my greens I'm going to cook, cook up, clean them up, and cook them up. And then let the uh, small ones stay put and, and let them grow some more. go in the other bed as well and uh, grab some of those too because I think it's some big ones up in that other one too these look nice and healthy I think the rest of these, except for maybe a few over there on that other side, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the rest of them. This, to me, to me, this is like the best part of the gardening for me, is actually picking something I grew from a seed and clean it up and eat it. This is the best part of this to me. And and, and I'm enjoying this. I love this.
I noticed that, you know, some of the leaves are curling up, but I think it's because it needs to be watered. Once I water it and treat it after I'm done here, uh, I'll see what exactly it's going to do. Mama! That's cute. Very what, cute. Do you know who did it? You? Yeah! Okay. So, oh. uh, okay, so this is my match that I actually um, got from here so far. So I'm going to cook those up and probably some more. Now, for the other part that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, put the the uh, the post in that I was talking about, the loops, so that I can um, secure it with the netting, and then the netting will, you know, help keep the bugs away from eating all the food up, and then I'll I'll water it. So, hold on. This, this is what it looks like. This is a, uh, I forgot, what, I think it's called a PVC piping. And these are actually flexible. So what I do with it is I actually bend it into the ground in the corner. Actually, I'm gonna put it on the outside, but for now, just to hold it and secure it, I'm just gonna put it on the inside So. These are flexible. So these I put on the outside, but for now I'm just going to show you how I'm doing this. Are you watching me? Yeah. Can you hand me that um on the counter, the screw, it's, it's electric. Unplug the whole thing for it. Thank you. So, these are, so th these are the brackets that I, I'm going to actually put them down here in a, in a skid, so I'm going to put them down there and secure it and then I'll put the put the piping right in there and then that should secure it secure it very good very well and then I'll put the netting on there Oh hey hey no 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 don't don't you running it running the battery down that's my granddaughter. She's trying to help me out here. That's right. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you charging your phone if there's no... It's an outlet over there. Oh. Okay, so... Ooh, I'm going to put... To I'm going to put that securely in. I think I'll put it on that side first. Take that down right down the center, all the way down. 
and then that's you know that should secure this keeping it and what happens what what it'll do is it'll stop um when once i put the netting on on top of the on top of the uh, loops uh it'll the brackets will secure the loop you know securely so that once i put the netting on it won't start flipping over and tumbling over all into the garden so that that's uh, you know i had to learn that the hard way because i did another method and i just oh i was just terrible at it but i'm going to continue with this If the neighbors out there ask them nicely and let them know that you dropped the ball over there, can you please get your ball? Okay. Okay. So. I'm going to continue with the next the next um loop And when you put them in, make sure everything is leveled right across from each other. Then you won't have anything lopsided. I think that one over there is a little bit off. So. That's what it kind of looks like with the three, the three loops, and then put the brackets on, and then you're good to go. And then once I put the brackets in place, then I'm treat this side, and then I'm going to take the netting and bring it over. The idea is to have enough netting, and I don't know if I got enough netting for this side, but I know I had enough enough for the other side. Uh, so, if I don't have enough netting, then I have to go back and go get some more. So, what I should have did before I went and got the netting is sized up the bedding and knew how much I needed. So, that was another thing, you know, lesson to be learned, I know next time kind of thing. So, let me continue to put the brackets on.
know it would be very helpful if I had a lot of enough screws. So, um, I don't know. I think I was supposed to have gotten three packs of screws and not, I think only had two. But um, what I'm going to do is improvise and I'm going to take some of the, take one screw out of each one just to help me out here. Just to assist with what I got going on here. And that way I can continue. Okay, so I got three screws, so I'm improvising with one screw per bracket until I can go back to the store and get some more, but this is for demonstration purposes only, uh, which you already see. Um, so let me finish up. have a whole lot of help because so I have to kind of do this myself and once again you know doing stuff by yourself can be a little challenging so I got to do what I got to do yesterday I had my other granddaughter she actually came out here to help me hold the um Hold things in place, but uh, she's on her tablet. And we're reading and learning about God, so I'm not gonna bother her. So I'm gonna come on this side and secure the last two. Hey, Grandma. Hi. Would you like to assist me? You make it squash. 
No. Would you like to assist me holding this holding the pose for me? Sure. I mean, I know nothing better than you. <laughs> Thing you know, you have sister. Okay, no, come over here. Leave the garden, leave the netting alone. I need you to go on this side. Adoring fans. Okay, so what's happening? So, I'm gonna put this, hold this. Actually, this is why I had this. I just need you to hold this part. That's what I need you to hold. So none of the exciting stuff. No, not yet. But you have, yeah, thank you. Hold that securely in place. And that'll look go a lot faster for me. I appreciate that. Try it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. All right. So now, what I'm going to do is, um, since now that I got that going, I'm going to. So I can treat it and basically water it. And I don't want to treat it too much. And I don't even think I want to use the hose. The whole the uh the Dr. Earth says put it on the holes and spray it till it's no more kind of thing. But I don't know. I'm going against the grain. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my um water spout and pour some of the solution off in there and the water and mix it with some water because it's concentrated and do it that way because it seems like the water holes seems to uh i don't know be a little mean to the to the to the uh greens and make them lean over too much almost like it's too watery kind of thing you know what i mean makes it too watery i don't know it's the, I don't, that's the best way I can explain it and it just like it, it does an overkill to me because the water I think the water holes is like seem to be too powerful or something so okay so I'm going to let me go get the go get the water and the solution and I'm gonna put the uh, Dr. Earth on here and then I'm gonna cover this side and then I'm gonna go over there to the other side. And then that's pretty much going to come. Uh, and then before before I complete the video, I'm going to show you uh, my other side of all the other vegetables that I have going on. And also, I also have some strawberries. So hold, hold on.
Okay, so as it turns out, I couldn't get the top off, so I'm gonna have to use the holes anyhow. So uh, I'm gonna move my little cord out the way so nothing gets wet. I don't want no incidents. And I'm gonna water this as not try not to water it too over water it. I'm struggling trying to take this take this thing off of here. Ooh, there it is. Okay, so I think this is what my husband's problem was. He was overpowering it. And that's what I don't want. That's one side, and let me get rid of this and put the netting on. So I'm going to put the netting, attempt to put the netting on here anyway. Um, we have to re, redo the netting because I had shorter loops on before I put this one on, these on. This will pretty much complete this side. So I pick the greens, the big leaves, and then I clean 
the uh the bedding up. And I'm going to adjust this, but before I go off live, I'm going to show you something. I'm not going to adjust all of this until probably later, but I want to show you this and then I'm going to go off live. Because I think I bored you guys enough. Uh, okay, so it's, I wanted to show you, I'm going to take this off. And show you something. So, hold on a minute. Um, I'm gonna show you these. What this is what I've been dealing with. Um, there is. I don't know if you guys can really. There it is. That's a. I believe that's an Asian beetle. And if it is not an Asian beetle, then uh, what? what exactly is that I don't know how if you guys can see that or not but that one looks dead anyway so I was dealing with a lot of those and that's why I had to come out here and do what I had to do so um, here's another one that one looks you can see that one a little more closely um, that's what it looks like. That's an, I believe it's an Asian, Asian beetle. So that's what's eating up my gardens. But before these th came, the moths, the caterpillars was eating up my leaves. So now it's like, okay. So now I resorted to the net and I told you about the, uh, PVC piping. And I put the brackets on there and then uh, I do once I get the netting on there I secure it with uh, some office clamps and then because I didn't have uh, enough yarding I resorted to uh, a lot of different Mitch mats I have green black uh, going on here and then what I had to do is just like kind of fold it over and pinch it with some clothes pins just to secure it you know just to make sure and then once I get done I actually put a two by four like all the way across whatever I can as much as I can to prevent them from even coming under so I'm gonna pull pull the um, the netting back so that you can see um, the rest of what I actually, um, planted from the seed. And some of these are actually starters, which would be my tomato, tomato and a few of the, um, peppers. So I'm going to pull that up and show you all oh, this discombobulate with this camera because I'm one I'm using one hand so bear with me I'm gonna pull this over because I got to go in here anyway okay so this is this is the bedding that I had already like two days ago I had cleaned out and I didn't spray anything on it because I thought it was so much moisture in there. It was, I said, it didn't make any sense to to water anything. So this is to my tomato plant and it actually, it was actually a starter plant. So as you can see, here is one, you know, a little small one. And then I have a few, uh, back in here this is actually a little bit more larger and it's growing in nicely so and a, f a few more here and I'm pretty sure some more way in the back which it is 
um, yeah, got a few more of them. Oh, these are even bigger. So it's a number of those, a uh, few of them behind, as you can see. So it's like a, yeah, that's like three on the vine. Look at that. So, and then you got a couple of them back here. So these are growing in really, really nicely. Um, and I had these since, I want to say, I don't know, June. I think I, that's when I got them. And these are actually the um, red beef steak tomatoes. And this is what I make sure I get. The Harlem not the hybrid because hybrid is like something is man-made and i'm not with that and then in the back of that and this is this is something else i had to actually um cut this now i don't know like i said this is my first time gardening so i don't know so i actually cut this down and i hope that wasn't a bad thing for me to do so i trimmed it down off the top just so it can you know not be mushed up and it's not stunting the growth of the um tomatoes so that i can put the netting on top and and still have room to grow so hopefully i didn't do a bad job of that i hope that was a okay thing to do to cut that off at the top and then here um these this is the cabbage leaves and I don't know, y'all. I, you know, I did these from seeds. Once again, this was starting in June, so maybe I'll um, have something by September. I don't know. I don't know. So um, I've got to clean this out again. You know, I didn't really clean out over here by the by the cabbage leaves, but I'm still looking for a cabbage head. And I haven't found one, but once again, I told, see, now look at this. See that? You see that hanging? See that? Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. So, I think that that's like a, um, caterpillar that's about to come. And so that's why I'm treating and putting the net out. So, I'm going to get rid of that as soon as I get off offline. And pretty much that's about all, all far as the greens is concerned. Um, I did tell you I had some spinach going, but um, I think it's like, a, it's kind of like an overpowering. Like I said, my husband actually um, had me to put multiple seeds in one spot. And I don't think, I think that was like an overkill to be honest. So, you know, I'll know next year you know what to do you know depending on how good bad this does so this is my spinach and you know you all leave a comment below and tell me about this because this this is this is the spinach tree I guess I don't know because this is my first time doing this and I don't know if this is supposed to look like that because the other side um, didn't so much look like that but all this is supposed to be some spinach on this one side. And it's kind of hard to, it looked like it's like discombobulated all over there. But anywho, um, once again, I got to overcrowd and then over like, all. Oh, I got to pull this back just to show you how, okay, so kind of hard to show you with all all the overcrowding but right here is actually a green pepper and I have a, a row of them all the way across but it's like a overcrowding of them so there's another one here so and they're they're very short so maybe once I get done with the greens there is another one maybe i'll you know they'll you know grow a little bit better but other than that um 
here's something that was pretty interesting i'm gonna show you i'm gonna pull this pull this netting off of here okay now check this out now right here this is actually turnips turnip leaves and i gotta tell y'all now whether it was a hybrid turn turnip uh bub or what but okay so it sat in my refrigerator and i had like a whole bag of them and i could see some of you know they got holes in them too so uh, apparently i'm gonna have to put an extra netting on that too um but i had a whole bag of them and one of them sprouted um the roots and i said hmm wonder if i i set it in some water for about two weeks and then i decided to pot it and this is what i got so far so i'm gonna continue to feed it and water it just to see if it's actually going to grow and another one of my projects here is uh these are early girl tomatoes and i've never seen this before but i probably ate them and didn't even know it and this is what they look like so this wasn't by seed this was actually a starter plant and i'm not sure if i'm growing these right i don't know i'm not sure when they're supposed to produce any or unless they're supposed to get a whole lot taller before they produce so y'all tell me give me get, hit me up in my comment below and then something that i really really like far as in my fruit is i had to put a netting on that to keep the bugs off even off of that so i'm gonna show you just a little sneak peek here um look at that strawberry and i've actually uh since i've had them in june i actually picked I would say six six to eight strawberries off of here and I got um, I got six separate pots all the way down so this is a whole bedding of and then I have um, I have one runner that's down in here so this would be a runner and I need to probably clip that eventually and put it in some water and just produce another uh, strawberry plant so I'm excited about that and I have eaten the strawberries that I picked and these these plants don't like a whole lot of water but uh, I could tell the soil is pretty dry so I'm gonna water water it today just like i'm gonna water the rest of it and grab and you know take off any strawberries that i see in the bed that you know might be ready i might wait and let this redden up a little bit more but these have been very very sweet once you get them from the garden and eat them they're actually very sweet but once they start traveling into another um place of destination to buy at the store then they get less sweeter which i don't like so i decided you know that was going to be another one of my projects that i was going to work on and something i probably should have done and i didn't and i think i'm going to do it today is as you see yellow leaves yellow uh stems here and uh i should have picked these are my scallop onions, so I'm going to confiscate whatever I have left of these and cut them up and put them in my freezer probably. And these are really good, you know, scallop onions. I like scallop onions. And then I'm probably going to um, plant some more bulbs just to give some, give me some more. So, so until next video, you guys have an awesome Sabbath day. And God bless you. And I hope that I was being a help to someone. And I hope that someone helped me that uh, has already had this journey of gardening. And just hit me up. And don't forget to 
to subscribe to my channel if you like what I am actually doing and hopefully I'll come on for even more videos and uh, whenever God give me something to give the people I will come on here live and until next time salon to you God bless you